Hi, I'm Epal with Mongato, and I'm gonna show you three ways to add background blur to your camera. Having the right amount of camera blur makes you the focus of the shot, literally. But before you go and spend a bunch of money on new camera equipment, let me go and show you three different ways how to achieve that beautiful background blur that you might be looking for. Keep in mind any equipment and or software used in this video is gonna be linked in the description down below. So the first option is the most expensive option to get background blur for your camera. However, it is the traditional way to get background blur. Now, if you wanna go straight to methods two and three on how to get camera blur on a budget, then go ahead and use the chapter markers down below. However, we are gonna be covering the real way to achieve this, which is by using a camera with a large sensor, like a mirrorless camera and or a DSLR, and a lens with a large aperture. These common type of cameras with large sensors do provide beautiful and more detailed shots, but that's only one part of the equation. The other part is gonna be a wide aperture lens. Now, when looking for these type of lenses, you wanna look at the F number. The lower the F number, the wider the aperture, the better the background blur. So for example, an aperture of F 1.8 is gonna provide you much more background blur than an aperture of F 4. Not to mention, it's also gonna be better in low light scenarios. Now, you may have seen some webcams of the f1.8 aperture, and you might think to yourself, wow, this is gonna provide some pretty awesome background blur. However, because that is a much smaller sensor than a large camera, this won't provide you nearly as much background blur as you think. And this is why most streamers choose mirrorless or DSLR cameras, not just for the large sensor, but the ability to swap out the lens to a wide aperture lens to achieve that beautiful blurry background. Although we said there's two components to achieving that beautiful blurry background, you still need a couple more things to use your camera as a webcam. Now keep in mind to use your camera as a webcam, you still wanna make sure it's compatible with the Elgato Cam Link. To check to see if your camera is actually compatible with Cam Link, go ahead to elgato.com to check out the full compatibility list or check the link in the description below as we've linked it for you. You're welcome. This device allows you to use your camera's HDMI output and connect it to your PC's USB port, which will allow it to see it as a webcam. Although this is the best way to achieve camera blur, getting a large sensor camera and a wide aperture lens and a cam link can run you upwards of about $1,000. So before you take out a small bank loan, let's go and talk about the two budget options. Not only are these next two options the least expensive, but they actually work with any webcam that you own. Keep in mind though, the better quality webcam, the better the end result will be. For the next portion of the video, we're gonna be showing you the Epoch Cam, Face Cam, and Face Cam Pro, just to show you the different end results you'll get with each varying budget. Option number two might be the easiest of all three, but it does require an RTX NVIDIA graphics card that's at least a 2060 or better. So you're probably wondering, how is that even possible? Well, thanks to NVIDIA's broadcast software, we're actually able to utilize the GPU's AI cores, which gives us the ability to put filters on audio and on webcams, including, you guessed it, background blur. Basically, NVIDIA broadcast software acts as a middleman between your webcam and your streaming software. First, you're gonna to wanna to add your webcam to the NVIDIA broadcast software, and then you're gonna set any of the effects you'd like. And then add NVIDIA broadcast cam to your streaming software of choice, and you're all set. So yes, this background blur will work with any webcam that you have, and you can even adjust the strength of it. Just keep in mind, if you do adjust it too high, it's gonna look fake. Although it might be nice for your next Zoom meeting to hide that messy room behind you. But if you have an Elgato webcam product, our Camera Hub software actually has NVIDIA broadcast software already built into it. So in addition to controlling your camera settings, you can actually add this background blur on the exact same app. And the best part of the background blur that's actually in Camera Hub software is actually you can achieve a lower strength than NVIDIA's broadcast software itself, which in my opinion, makes it look like a more realistic blur. Be sure to check out Elgato Workshop's video on the integration of Camera Hub and NVIDIA broadcast software to see a step-by-step -step guide on how to set this up and take advantage of that beautiful background blur. Now, don't these webcams look great? Which one do you think is your favorite webcam so far? Let us know in the comment section down below. Although this is a great flexible option, it does require an RTX graphics card and running multiple programs at the exact same time. So if you're worried about system resources and you don't have an RTX graphics card, don't worry. This next one is gonna be for you. Even though green screens are popular for removing backgrounds, what about using a green screen to add a background? Let me go show you how. First, from your stream setup, remove your mic arm and chair from view. If your webcam can manually focus, go ahead and set it to the desired blurriness. If you can't manually focus your webcam, don't worry about it. We'll just go ahead and add that in later on with software. Once you have this set up, you'll wanna record roughly a 30 second still video just like this. Once you have your clip recorded, go ahead and import that clip into any video editing software that you own, whether it be DaVinci's Resolve or even Adobe Premiere Pro. You'll wanna go ahead and trim the beginning and the end of this video to make sure it is completely still with no movement. 
If you weren't able to manually focus your webcam, go ahead and look for the Gaussian blur effect and let's drop that onto the clip in the timeline. Once you add this blur to the clip, go ahead and adjust the strength to your liking. Once we have our still video and the blur to our liking, go ahead and render this video out. And we want to go ahead and enable the chroma key effect on our webcam. We will then want to add this video to our streaming software as a source. And then we'll also want to enable the ability for it to loop the video. And bam, perfectly beautiful background blur. Keep in mind, most webcams have wide fields of view. Therefore, you might have to actually crop down your webcam. And to do this, you hold Alt and drag in from the sides. This technique actually works better with a larger green screen. That way, you're not worried about moving your arms about and then getting them cut off. And for that reason, we actually recommend using the Elgato Green Screen XL. This will result in having more room to move around so you don't get cut off. And it's also very easy to light green screen XL. So the webcam you use for this method does change the actual overall quality of the image. High resolution or uncompressed webcams can actually lead to a cleaner looking chroma key. But the more noticeable difference is gonna be how sharp you look and how rich the colors are, which heavily depends on what webcam you use. Now, you might be asking yourself, couldn't I just use a picture instead of a video? You could, but the quality of a video is gonna look much better. It will look more natural because of the grain and because of how it's recorded. Either way is completely up to you, but we just suggest doing the video way for the best end result. And there you go. Three easy ways to add background blur to your stream. Which one of these options did you not know about? Or were you using one of these options before? Let me know in the comment section down below. For more tips on how to achieve the best quality for your content, be sure to subscribe to the Elgato and Elgato Workshop YouTube channels to stay up to date on how to get the most out of your products. Once again, I'm Bipala from Elgato. Until next time, good luck and have fun.